Taurus, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for March 24th to the 31st. All right, let's get started. I'm going to do a quick reading. It's going to be the regular weekly love readings with the tarot and two love decks. All right, spirit guides, what do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? For March 24th to the 31st, did something flip over? Maybe not. <clears throat> for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for March 24th to the 31st. Thank you so much. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for March 24th to the 31st in love and romance? What do we have for Taurus? All right. This one was flipped over. So we have happiness and power. Authority figure could be um, your boss, could be your partners, could be you. This is Mars energy and this is Aries Scorpio energy with the emperor. It's, it gives this energy of being very happy, Taurus. Um, feeling very fulfilled with the Ten of Cups. And it must be to do with something maybe regarding your relationship with someone who could be this type of person, maybe an older gentleman, someone who is a business owner or uh, one of those signs, Aries or Scorpio, or someone who's just old school, very old fashioned and traditional in love and romance. They're the ones who will try to pay the bill right away or hold the door open. Um this card is also about power and authority. So it feels like maybe you yourself may be feeling very empowered and in control of your own fate, destiny, whatever. And that's making you feel very fulfilled and happy. Now, there's a couple here with children. It could also be being really happy and fulfilled with the partner that you've met. Okay, which could be the emperor. It was, it came out like this. So maybe... There's somebody in the background that you don't see every day. Maybe they're just watching you. Somehow there's significance to this being upside down. Okay, like flipped over. Now we got two of pentacles. It shows um, being busy, juggling life, having a lot of things going on. Phone calls, pick up, pickups, do this, do that. Very, very hectic energy with the two of pentacles as well as keeping the balance because see the water's choppy in love and romance it could be juggling more than one person as well i don't it could be options let's put it that way options and you see these two pentacles you've got the happiness and fulfillment here and then you've got the emperor over here Maybe juggling, trying to find balance between the two. All right, let's keep going. What else is there for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For, whoa, the sun and Taurus. There you are, king of pentacles. Standing your ground. This is beautiful. And there's underneath that's a happy home, stability. Do you see Taurus is like a really happy energy? You got the Ten of Cups and the Sun. So this is showing someone who's really fulfilled, optimistic, excited about life, and just feeling really good with feeling blessed. The Sun is also about seeing everything in the light of day and clarity, <clears throat> honesty. Could be about children as well. Timeline, August, summertime. Sign wise, Leo. And then you got the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or it could just represent somebody who is um, an older person who is, again, successful, abundant, powerful, benevolent, generous, kind leader type. This is the husband or partner, um, boss type energy as well. Very traditional. These are both very traditional cards, the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. And then you've got the <clears throat> Clarifier, Seven of Wands, standing your ground. 
feeling defensive about something, protecting what's yours. There's great happiness, and there's someone here with the Emperor and King of Pentacles. I feel like it's the same person. <clears throat> Maybe not, but I feel like it's the same person, just the way the cards came out. That's very stable, successful. Then you got the Death card here. We've got Scorpio energy, and that's the ending, and an ending, clarifying the ending. Okay, so walking away, Eight of Cups. This person is walking away from something unfulfilling. They tried to make it work and then they walked away. So death, ending to something that was unfulfilling, an end. And then you got the strength card underneath that as well, again with the Leo energy. As I said, the sun can be Leo energy as well. So walking away from something and there's an ending. But you're not sweating, you're really happy. There's very great happiness here. Anything else we have? Anything else we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 24th to the 31st in Love and Romance? Any other messages for Taurus? Any other messages for Taurus, please, in Love and Romance? What does Taurus need to know? Woo! All right. So we got these and this on the bottom star. So this is a very home, hearth, energy, happiness, fulfillment, matriarchal energy. This is the mother with the kids at home, nurturing, mother, love, support, uh, Hestia, Vesta, goddesses, you know, the, the goddesses of the fire, the home, that kind of energy, very strong female feminine power, matriarchal energy here. It's very taking care of the kids, being happy and and content and feeling fulfilled in that role at home. Think home life being very stable. You got that at the four of wands on the bottom too when the other cards dropped. So let's see what's underneath here. Then we get love and the king of wands. So I'm getting this energy. You are very happy and you see the juggling, which came out at the clarifier, like trying to find a balance between the two. You see, you got the Ten of Cups and you got the sun. And then you get this emperor and the king of pentacles. Walking away from something unfulfilling. You might even be blocking or trying to find balance. It looks like on one hand, you have this stable family life, kids possibly happiness at home and on the other hand you're trying to juggle this kind of suitor or suitors okay because you got the king of pentacles king of wands and the emperor who are trying to <clears throat> bring love to you because you got the lovers and the king of wands could be a fire sign aries leo sag got the star on the bottom that can speak to standing out beauty fame grace healing um a peaceful time. And that really looks like the energy for, for the card that flipped out first. And it's, it's based off of a book called uh, little Charles. It's a book of lessons for little kids. Anyways. And again, we had the 10 of swords an ending to a toxic cycle. So let's keep going. What else is there? Just, it, it looks like you're really happy and fulfilled Taurus and that you've been, taking care of the things you need to take care of. And at the same time, there is this these windows of opportunities opening up in love and romance. And you've been getting that consistently. Any other messages for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising in Venus. It feels like, do you have time? Are you going to make space in your life? For, oh God, look, we got another king. We got another king. <laughs> king of cups and two of wands. So now we have somebody, okay, who's in love, long distance, and who's watching and waiting and wanting more. So we got a king, a king, a king, and an emperor. So now we have king of cups, 
could be a water sign, can't see Scorpio Pisces, or somebody who's just completely in love. This is a passionate, the passionate one, the inspiring one, hot blooded one. This is the deep feeling, um, sensitive, supportive, emotionally intelligent, um, generous, kind, spiritual one. This is the protective, traditional, um, loyal, generous one as well. And the emperor is someone who's the boss of all of them. And clarifying this, you got three of pentacles, love triangle. No, no surprise there. Any other messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You got a lot of suitors, Taurus. It looks there's a lot of kings after you. Look. And look at you. Closed off, unreceptive. Every time, Taurus. Closed off, unreceptive. Mm -hmm. There's somebody trying to offer a cup. This person is focused on other things. Look. Just to clarify. And <laughs> under the poor romantic knight of cups trying to offer their cup. And what's clarifying this four of cups? Is the five of pentacles. It's a card of lack. It's the card for Taurus. Meaning, just like the, Tor the, the king of pentacles, the empress is Taurus. Now, this is lack, meaning these people are outside of the church. They don't want it. They don't. Some people say they don't see it, the church. This is a lack of spiritual uh, faith. There's a lack of good health. You see the crutches. It could be a lack of finances or whatever. It could be all of those. But really, in love and romance, this is easy come, easy go. It's like you don't have the capacity right now. We see you blocking, trying to find balance, walking away from something that ended. And the five of pentacles is, dude, you're down to have fun. You're down to have some romance and excitement. But to carve out that space in your life, it, it's difficult. It's like you're blocking. They have to literally, it's like these people are just watching right? It, they, they might be completely gonzo for you or whatnot, but it's like, it's something that f there's distance, you're blocking, and you're busy doing other things. And there's, there's the offer of love. It is coming in. You will get an offer. You will get a message. You'll, something. They're going to reach out. They're going to try to do something to let you know. But will you even see it? Because you got the four of cups. Look at this person not even looking. So let's pull some love oracle cards just to see. What do we have from March 24th to the 31st for Taurus? In love and romance, please, spirit guides. What love messages are there for Taurus for March 24th to the 31st? What does Taurus need to know? What love messages are there for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sorry, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from March 24th to the 31st. There we go. Freedom. It's all about freedom. Okay. Boom. And passion. <laughs> Triangle. It's all about freedom. You want your freedom. You're focused on freedom. You want to do things. You want to travel. You want to pursue your career goals. You want to take care of the things you need to take care of. And you want to make time for yourself. You want self-care, self-love. You want to be your own first priority. That's all freedom. And passion, because passion is all about following your passions, that wants fire energy. It's not just about romantic passion. It's talking about hobbies, um, your artistic side, your creative side, um, your the things that light you up, the interests that you want to pursue. So that is what your focus is, your passion and freedom. And your passion is on freedom right now. Okay, so let's see. This is Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? For March 24th to the 31st. Any love messages for Taurus for March 24th to the 31st, please? Thank you so much. Any love messages for Taurus for March 24th to the 31st? Any, there we go. <laughs> I swear to God. Passion and passion. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And this is saying, if you're in a relationship, you need to, um, you can fix it. And if it's a cross watcher, even if you're watching this, 
you need to spend time alone for, with Taurus to be able to reconnect because there's a major freedom energy here. For the Taurians, <clears throat> generally, it's saying you just want to unplug. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You just want to be left alone. Okay, time to gather yourself, get your energy back up. And, you know, the what we see on TV, the news, every, it's just, it's so much BS. It's exhausting. So let's say you just want a moment where you can like heal and take care and get back and regroup. So it's a retreat. Double passion though. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I'm going to pull <clears throat> one general card, one last card, because these readings aren't long. We've got the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle Cards by Amanda Lovelace. You know what? I'm, I'm not using this deck. I just It just occurred to me to use the Inner Goddess Oracle Cards by Alana Fairchild. All right, final card for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for March 24th to the 31st. Almost. There we go. Ooh, Taurus, I told you. Queen of Hearts. Love is my religion. Queen of Hearts. You are the Queen of Hearts. All these people. Three kings and an emperor. Okay, so queen of hearts. On the bottom we have tribe of the kindred. I carry your heart. I carry it in mine. Okay, anywho, let's read this one. Queen of hearts, 32. In a reading. Your heart has been chosen by the divine to be a temple for spiritual insight, an inner place where grace and healing can dwell. This is very special. A temple is kept clean and pure, scented with sacred perfumes of incense, made beautiful with our feelings of reverence and love for the spirit, kept uncluttered and spacious so that, so that as much spiritual presence as possible can enter. When spirit enters and fills the temple of the heart, things of extraordinary beauty take place. Even the apparently impossible becomes possible. Clear your heart temple with forgiveness, gratitude, and love for the spirit so it can fulfill its divine destiny of being a sacred channel for beautiful divine grace. Spiritual Guidance the mind may believe it has got the power to rule, but in truth, the heart is queen. You are a true goddess of love, one who consults the heart for answers. You will courageously follow the guidance of the heart, even when the mind doesn't want to surrender to the call of the heart, and fearfully lists numerous reasons why it's crazy and stupid and will end badly. You know that the doubt of the mind is no match for the power of the heart. As you continue to honor the divine wisdom of the heart within your own life, you become empowered to help others learn to trust and grow through love's guiding inner light too. You become a keeper of the sacred heart. The divine love of the, of the sacred heart will protect you and guide you in the most extraordinary ways. All you need to do to receive this divine assistance is to keep honoring your own heart. Remember that the heart has its own way of attracting what it needs, of creating healing and new opportunities. Things don't need to make sense to your mind or to anyone else. They just need to make sense to your heart. You are already a divine queen, your heart aflame with passionate purpose. Stay true to your heart wisdom and you will change the world. Sacred ritual. Place your hands in prayer and say these sacred words loud. My beautiful heart is queen and divine love is king. Together they rule the holy kingdom upon heaven and earth with harmony, grace, and joy. Isn't that beautiful? Queen of Hearts. That's your reading, Taurus, for the, f the week of March 24th to the 31st. When I'm done these, I'll have the first week of April readings out. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of the March uh, month. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.